Scientists have thought for a long time that really huge black holes, those called supermassive black holes, sit in the middle of all big galaxies. But for some reason, try as they might, they couldn't find one in a galaxy called the Southern Pinwheel Galaxy, aka Messier 83 or M83, a spiral-shaped galaxy about 15 million light-years away from us. Still, researchers were sure it would be there. That was super confusing. And now, the super-powerful James Webb Space Telescope might have found a clue that there really is a supermassive black hole hiding in the middle of M83. Supermassive black holes eat up huge amounts of gas and dust, which makes them glow super bright. M83 didn't seem to shine, but could this glow be hidden by thick clouds of dust? Indeed, James Webb's amazing cameras have spotted clumps of special ionized gas that show up when a black hole is doing its thing, gobbling matter. So basically, the black hole could be playing hide-and-seek with us, and JWST might have just helped us figure out this long-standing mystery. So what exactly did scientists see? It was a glowing light coming from neon gas that needs a huge amount of energy, much more than what normal stars can make. This glow is a strong clue of a hidden active galactic nucleus, even powerful star explosions, called supernovas, don't give off enough energy to make this kind of light. So, a supermassive black hole seems like the most likely reason. On the other hand, it's not the only possible reason. The glow might also come from shockwaves moving through the gas between stars, called the interstellar medium. To figure it out, Scientists are going to take an even closer look using other powerful space tools like the Hubble Space Telescope, ALMA, and the Very Large Telescope. At the same time, this discovery shows how amazing the James Webb Space Telescope is. Apparently, it can find things in space that were safely hidden from our eyes before. Another example is an impossible black hole it helped to detect. On second thought, this discovery might not be as astonishing as it seemed at first. Let's figure out this mystery together. The thing is, astronomers thought they had found a super hungry black hole that was eating stuff 40 times faster than it should. And that was something that didn't make sense with the existing laws of physics. That black hole, called LID-568, was spotted with the help of the James Webb Space Telescope. It was from the early days of the universe, having formed just 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang. So, at first, it looked like the ravenous black hole was eating way too much and way too fast. That would have made it grow really big really quickly, which was surprising for such an early time in the universe. But now, after looking again with the Webb Telescope, scientists realized they had been wrong all this time. The black hole hasn't been breaking the rules at all. What actually happened was that thick dust got in the way and made it look like it was eating more than it really was. Here's how black holes normally work. When stuff falls into them, it gets super hot and shines brightly. There's a rule called the Eddington Limit which tells us that the most a black hole can eat is based on how big it is. If a black hole tries to eat more, the light it gives off pushes the stuff away, so it can't eat any more. Some black holes can eat a little more than this rule says. This is called super Eddington accretion, but not as much as 40 times. And the first guess said that LID-568 was doing just that breaking this limit in a big way. And then, the new study, published in April 2025, showed that the black hole was actually eating at a normal rate. The mistake came from not seeing clearly because of all the dust in space. It blocks and scatters light, making it harder for us to see the black hole clearly. So, in the end, our hungry friend turned out to be not so hungry and pretty normal. Kinda disappointing, right? 
Scientists say that if a black hole is hidden by dust, like LID 568, you have to fix the light measurements for the dust to get the right size for the black hole. If you don't do that, you might get the wrong number for how big the black hole is, which also messes up the calculation for the Eddington limit. In their study, the team measured the black hole size using infrared light. This light is not blocked by dust as much as regular light, which is what scientists usually use. Thanks to this, they found out that the black hole was almost a billion times bigger than the Sun, and about 40 times bigger than the old guess. With this new bigger size, they could fix the calculation for the Eddington limit, which made it clear that the black hole wasn't as hungry and bizarre as they thought. So, its feeding habits don't mean it's a super huge black hole growing really fast. Scientists have known that dust can mess up measurements of black holes, but they haven't always been good at fixing it when studying galaxies far away. This means that other black holes might have also been measured incorrectly, and people might have misunderstood them. The team's new way of measuring could help scientists learn more about these black holes that are hidden by dust in galaxies, especially the Little Red Dots galaxies discovered with the James Webb Space Telescope. When scientists look at the first pictures of those faraway parts of the universe, they found something totally new – a bunch of tiny, super-red galaxies. They named them the Little Red Dots. There are hundreds of them. These dots only show up during a short time in the universe's history, when the universe was about 1 billion years old. And these little red dots are super confusing. They kind of look like two totally different things. Really heavy galaxies packed with stars, or modestly sized galaxies with a supermassive black hole in the middle. But one thing is clear. The typical red dot galaxy is tiny only about 2% the size of our home Milky Way galaxy, and some are even smaller. So, what makes them shine? There are two main ideas. One of them claims that each little red dot is filled with a crazy number of stars, up to 100 billion, which is about the same number of stars as the Milky Way, even though a red dot is way smaller. Imagine standing in a huge, quiet room. That's like space near our solar system. Now imagine that same room completely jam-packed with the whole population of a very large country. Super crowded. That's what the inside of a little red dot might be like. It could be one of the most crowded places in the universe. Scientists aren't even sure galaxies this packed can really exist. Another idea is that these red dots are small galaxies with a giant black hole in the center. Scientists can spot signs of black holes by looking at how gas swirls around them. It gives off a special kind of light. And in many little red dots, they've seen those signs. Now, here's the strange part. The black holes seem way too big for such tiny galaxies. Usually, a black hole is only a tiny part of a galaxy's weight, about 0.1%. But in some of these dots, the black hole might be almost as heavy as the whole galaxy. That's really unusual, so scientists call those monsters overmassive black holes. And there's one more mystery. Normal black holes give off X-rays, and these ones don't. Even when scientists use special telescopes to look for X-rays, they couldn't find any. It's like these black holes are playing hide-and-seek and we don't have the necessary means to find them yet. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.